pain in the ass on this car. It is. <laughs> ever since, ever since the body work, or whatever, long ago. It's not too bad if you know what you're doing, but yeah, it's tricky. Mm. So this is my dad's '73 Jensen Healy. It's got a Lotus 907 aluminum block slant four. I'm pretty sure the Stromberg carbs. They don't say anywhere. Are they yeah. Stromberg carbs? The original came from, the originals were Delordos, but you couldn't get them over in the uh, States. Uh, when they brought them over for mission purposes, I think they switched them over to the Strombergs. Yeah, and Weber's were in it too, right? Weber's I are more the triangle ones. I think they were more triangle. I don't really remember, honestly. But it's in pretty good condition. It's actually a fresh motor rebuild because a couple years ago, when Dad and I were taking it out, the timing belt actually snapped on it and the pistons sent themselves right into the valves. The valves were bent. Um, it's cool enough to actually see the motor, some of the motor rebuild. Where did we take it? Uh, North Haven guy. Yeah, I forget his name. Lundell? Lundell, no. Started on North Haven, I forget what his name is. No. Yeah. Well, we brought it to these guys in North Haven who specialize, and they race um, British cars. I think they have MGs and stuff like that. And there was, uh, yeah, there was an old uh, Jensen Healy sitting outside, remember? Yeah. Or it was a and Lotus. And a Lotus. A Lotus was sitting outside. Yeah, old Lotus was sitting outside, so that was sick. But they took really good care of the car. They rebuilt the motor. Um, if I knew what I know now about the motors, probably would have just swapped in cams, done some head work. Um, I don't know. Forge it. You can bore it out a little bit. You can make like another 100 horse. Uh, cool thing about this car, it weighs like nothing. I don't know the exact weight right now, but I'm pretty sure it's in the 2000s. Like, I think it's mid, probably mid 2000s, something like that. But other than that, it's all original. And it only has like 20 something thousand miles on it. Odometer stopped working for a little bit. Let me see if I can sneak it in. So it's saying 26. Dad and I are estimating it probably has like a maximum of 29 on it because it doesn't really get driven that much, but it's pristine. Like there's no rust anywhere. Um, the paint's okay. It's the old school single stage. So I don't know. I'm not confident in buffing it. And there's some chips and stuff from guys who work on the car, which dad was not happy about, especially this ding right here. That's probably the worst one. And that was from, ten years ago. yeah, after 10 years ago. Yeah, we brought it to some shop and then they dinged it up. So that's never been the same, but we've been talking about potentially repainting it at some point. Um, I thought you were learning how. Yeah, hopefully, I'll, I'm trying, I'm working on it. So try to be doing that, but probably just gonna get the car started up, let it warm up. We're actually gonna go bring it to the lab store it there for winter really love these badges so cool and these wheels but these cars are pretty awesome not the fastest thing in the world but it handles absolutely perfect it's got almost a perfect weight distribution this thing used to walk mgs tr4s all day tr6s used to keep up a little bit my dad was saying because they had, they had the six banger instead of the four but these cars are pretty awesome. So let's get this thing started up. All right, so my dad's gonna start up real quick. Another thing I forgot to mention, glass headlights in perfect condition. Those are really cool. Just the little small things. It's got a nice little duct down there. And again, this car actually sits pretty low. It's a four speed. Yep. Four speed, which is the only downfall. We both wish it was a five speed <laughs> for cruising. But, Ready to go? Yep, let's give it a Ready shot. Cutting it a little. 
how it looks compared to my car. It makes my car look like a monster truck now. opinions on it real quick and then just let you listen to the audio but uh yeah just gonna let it warm up it looks good definitely needs a little paint correction at some point but it's looking awesome just looking at the door card so it's gross vehicle weight saying two five six six and then the gawr is 1450 manufactured 13 673 that's awesome. It's in good shape and that's all original. Get a quick look at the interior. I really love the gauge set out in here. It's just so simple and it's all directed to the driver. And little air nozzle things are sick. Those actually used to be painted gold that's just been fading. And then the four speed. Synchros are a little tricky. Fourth gear likes to grind a little bit. It's kind of like my Subi. So, we'll be getting going pretty soon. All right, guys, I'm gonna take a little rip here. I don't know how well you're gonna be able to hear me. I'm gonna try to uh, figure this car out. It has been a while since I've driven this. Figured I'd, I don't know, give a quick little impression and then uh, just kind of let you guys listen to it. See if I can freaking drive this thing. It's idling super high. about this car four speed super super light clutch and it sits really low so I can barely see anything I'm not gonna lie I gotta fuck with this idle a little bit Just be tightened up a little bit. This car is mint. But 
I usually end up keeping you in third for most of the time because third just feels the best to me. And fourth is a little tricky. You have to give it some time, really not trying to fucking grind gears on here. <laughs> so, but steering's great. It's got some body roll, but it's still planted, if that makes any sense. Hopefully I don't have to freaking stop up here. And you sit really, really low in this car. So that's why if I keep like nodding my head up to see, the uh, top of the steering wheel is actually like right in my line of sight. So you sit really, really low, super race car. Cool thing about these motors is they used to race these all the time. And I think there's, last time I checked, there was only like a handful of these in running and driving good, good condition. This one's not pristine by any means, but it's in really good condition. Only thing that has some rust on it is the exhaust. I think once I get in second, it'll do some snap, crackle, pops and stuff. But everything runs really nice. It always runs normal. It starts up first time. I've never seen it run hot or anything. So it's just getting used to no power or anything. It, really makes you realize how lucky most of these cars are now because you know most people driving this if you've never driven one before you'd probably crash it right away because the brakes you know you don't have that feel anymore so we're just pulling into a gas station real quick that was pretty much just quick thoughts i don't think you guys will be able to hear me too much anyways so i don't have a mic or anything for mikey's gopro so that was pretty much it i'll probably try to reverse it or maybe stick it on Sticking in the windshield facing forward or something like that. And that'll pretty much be it. Alright guys, so that's going to wrap it up for this video. A little change of pace, something different, but we were moving it, figured might as well film it. It's kind of cool. I don't I don't think I've ever, I've seen a few other ones on YouTube, but I haven't really looked recently. Uh, another thing to point out is the pedals are super, super close together. So if you got big feet, you're going to have problems driving it. Um, or you have like wide shoes or something like that. So my wide shoes are just, when I go to brake, I hit the gas at the same time. It's funny, but uh, there's a look at that. Pretty close together. Perfect for heel toe. Actually, it's more toe toe on this one. But, and the clutch is super, super light. Engagement points like right here ish. About half, a little more, three quarters up. So, that was that. Car ran mint. Hope you guys enjoyed. Like, comment, sub, uh, share. Appreciate all the support, guys. Catch you on the next one. Deuces.